the thin lens equation is not the only equation that we can use to find the focal length of a convex or a concave lens. We can also use an equation known as the lens maker equation. Now the lens maker equation essentially gives us a relationship between the focal length of our lens, the radii of curvature of the front and back surface of our lens, and the index of refraction of our lens. So let's see exactly what the lens maker equation is by looking at the following diagram. Let's suppose we have the principal axis and we have the following double convex lens. Now point C1 is the center of curvature of the front face of the front surface of our lens while point C2 is the center of curvature of the back surface of our our lens. Now the distance R1 is the radius of curvature of the front surface of the lens and the distance R2 is the radius of curvature of the back surface. Now let's define N to be the index of refraction of the material from which the lens is made of and F is the focal length of the lens. So now that we define our quantities, let's define what the lens maker equation is. So the lens maker equation states that 1 divided by the focal length is equal to the product of n minus 1 multiplied by 1 divided by r1 plus 1 divided by r2. Now notice when we're dealing with convex surfaces, R is chosen to be positive. For concave surfaces, R is chosen to be negative. Now, although I'm not going to derive this equation in this lecture, you can derive this equation by using the following diagram, by making the assumption that our lens is a very thin lens, by using Snell's law and a bit of geometry. So. Let's look at the following example that will essentially use this equation. So let's see exactly how this equation can be used. So a certain double convex lens has an index of refraction of 1.45. If the radius of curvature of the front and back surfaces is 23 centimeters in part A, find the focal length F and in part B, find the image distance if an object is placed 120 centimeters to the left of our double convex lens. So double convex lens looks something like this and for a double convex lens R1 is equal to R2. So. Let's begin by applying this equation. So 1 divided by the focal length, what we're looking for is equal to n, which is 1.45 minus 1 multiplied by 1 divided by 23 centimeters plus 1 divided by 23 centimeters. So if we solve for f, we see that the focal length is approximately equal to positive 25.6 centimeters. So notice because we're dealing with a convex lens, our focal length is indeed positive. Now let's move on to part B. In part B, we want to find the image distance if an object is placed 120 centimeters to the left of our to the left of our lens. So let's suppose that the light is coming from the same side as where the object is found. So we essentially want to apply the thin lens equation and we want to use what we calculated in part A. So the thin lens equation states that 1 divided by the focal length is equal to 1 divided by the object distance plus 1 divided by the image distance. So we're looking for di. So let's bring di to the left side and everything else to the right side. So we see that 1 divided by di is equal to 1 divided by the focal length 
found in part A minus 1 divided by the object distance, which is 120 centimeters. Now, because the object is found on the same side as the light, that basically means this is positive. So 1 divided by 25.6 minus 1 divided by 120. If we solve for our di, we see that the image distance is equal to positive 32.5 centimeters. The fact that it's positive means that it's on the opposite side of the mirror compared to where the light is coming from, compared to where the object is actually placed. So we can see that the lens maker equation can be very useful when we're trying to calculate our focal length and we know the index of refraction as well as the radii of curvature of the two surfaces of our given lens.